Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and today we're going to be talking about chapter two, which is the life annuity contracts. And um, I've got over here, these are just the list of all the little formulas that we're going to be going through. Anyway, so let's start off with um, what exactly is an annuity. Well, an annuity is... It's actually quite a nice thing if you're receiving it. It's not such a nice thing if you're giving it. Because what it is, it's a stream of payments. So A angle N means that you're going to make, um, so if N was equal to 10, means you're going to be making 10 payments of 1. That's the, the base value that always goes through here, and you can multiply it by other values. Um, and what you do is you're making each payment at uh, another interval of time. So its formula is the sum summation of the discount factors. So now, what is a life annuity? Well, a life annuity is kind of the same thing, except it depends on your life status as well. So you can quickly see that a life annuity will have a lower value than a simple annuity. And we know this because in the life annuity, I'll have just both of them in, in view here. Um, in the life annuity, there's this additional term over here called KPX, which is the survival probability. And we know survival probabilities are always less than one. So when you're multiplying something less than one to the discount factor, which is also always less than one, you're going to get a value smaller than this one. And this makes sense. I mean, here you can get paid, you know, for a certain term and it's guaranteed that you get paid that. Here, if you die after, you know, the fourth year or whatever, you know, you're not going to receive any more from the annuity. So, yeah, that's basically annuities. Now, um, just like with the life assurance contracts that we spoke about in Chapter 1, so you get the same kind of guys happening with the annuities. You have the, the whole life annuity, um, which is actually the one we just mentioned above. Um, what this one does is it pays out a stream of cash um, every single year that the person is alive. You know, pays till infinity as long as you are alive. There is the variance. I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about variance in this video. It, it is important, but it's not essential. Um... And yeah, then there's also annuities that can be made in advance. Let me just talk quickly about what it means to be made in advance. The first annuities that we were talking about, they pay at the end of the year. Oh, oh yeah, end of the year or end of the month or whatever their time period is. Um, annuities made in advance, they pay at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the month. And normally when you take out um, insurance, the, the insurance company gives you um, a life assurance contract in return for you paying out um, a life annuity. And the majority of the annuities that you pay will be in advance. Otherwise, what people would do is they would take out a contract and before the end of the month, cancel it. Start another contract and before the end of the month, cancel it. And this way they could get effectively free life cover. But by making it in advance, you can't really do that. And remember, these little guys here, they are expected values of the simple annuity, except where the term n is replaced with a random variable, which is kx plus 1. And remember, kx is the curtate future lifetime variable. Okay, then you get temporary annuities. Okay, temporary annuities, they pay until n, you know, a certain time period, or until you die but they stop off their end so it's just the same as the whole life but it's got an expiry date um, of n and you can see the formula we're just making a little adjustment we change it from infinity to n and if it's payable at the end of the year then k is equal to 1 if it was in advance we would have the two dots here that'd be n minus 1 and that would be 0 okay um, yeah, here we can see n minus 1. We'll get to a little bit into it why it's n minus 1 and 0. But let's first talk about deferred annuities. 
Deferred annuities are um, just like the assurance thing, they kick in after a waiting period. And um, they're basically made up of two things, the whole life, and you're going to be subtracting the, the term, and that gives you a deferred annuity. There is a better way to calculate this, um, which we talk about in, is it chapter 3 or chapter 4? I think it's chapter 3. Anyway. Um, I'll show you a better way to calculate that guy. Uh, oh, I might as well just tell you guys now. So basically, instead of subtracting by AXN, um, you just take your whole life and um, you push it into the future with a V term and a survival probability term. This just makes it much easier to look up in the tables. Um, but yeah, sorry, that's, that's chapter 3. Uh, you can watch that video um, after this one. And then yeah, then we've got guaranteed annuities. Um, these ones are kind of like your, they're kind of like the term assurance, but um, the other way around. So even if you die before the period, you still got, you're still going to get until that period, and then you'll get nothing. But if you still survive at the end of that period, it keeps going as if it was a whole life. So this is almost the, this one will be the most expensive um, out of all the annuities that we have spoken about. And yeah, you can just see here is its formula. Um, it's the it's yeah, it's the maximum of either the set annuity or the whole life annuity. And yeah, you can see it's just an addition of simple annuity plus a deferred annuity. Remember, the bar over X and N means that both conditions have to fail in order for it to stop. If there's just a 1 above it, then it means as soon as that condition fails, it stops. And yeah, finally, uh, we just end off with some continuous annuities. Um, this is something that is just theoretical. I mean, it's very unlikely that... Um, Although I guess with technology, we might move towards continuous annuities. This is where someone, you don't pay a monthly premium, you don't pay a daily premium, but you're paying a premium every single second, every single microsecond. It's continuous. Um, so yeah, they're very difficult to handle mathematically. So we have these adjustments where it's just um, annuity made in advance, subtracted by a half. Um, but remember, if you're going to do it for a term assurance, you need to subtract the half in the beginning, but then add on that half to the end um, for the last term. Now, I'll let you ponder as to why you don't have to do that for the whole life insurance. Sorry, whole life annuity. Um, and then, yeah, then there's like a little quick example. Um, you can calculate if you want, um, put out there. But yeah, that is... That's basically um, a nice little introduction to Chapter 2, Life Annuity Contracts. Hope you guys are studying hard, and I'll see you for Chapter 3. Cheerios.